guys, it's Lena Lum, and today we're going to discuss the Claire Blend Mini, my most favoriteest facial device currently, and it's why it works, some science behind it, and my experience. Let's discuss. Yes, the Claire Blend Mini, you guys, it helps firm the skin, it helps diminish wrinkles, and because it's microcurrents, it's really helping stimulate the collagen and fibroblast in the skin, and you can really see a lift of the muscles it's really awesome this one compared to the last microcurrent device that i reviewed that looked like the new face but it was a lot cheaper and there's a link to that video somewhere up above or in the description and if you're into this type of thing supplement skincare anti-aging discussions hit subscribe and the bell button to be notified when i put up videos so it's fda clear device that transfers the amps through back and forth between the two little electrodes and these are so teeny you can really get under and really manipulate and lift the muscles you can get around your face way easier than you can with the new face nodule or the five Pucci. that's the other one that was very cheap and manufactured in china and this one by the way is manufactured by a company that creates much bigger devices that are used professionally and are thousands of dollars used in estheticians office so this is by the same company the clear blend versus the battery operated ones has to be plugged in because it has a current modulator in it that controls the movement through the different frequencies so you don't have to deal with that so it's really easy then i plug it into my computer and just use it at night or you could like christine buyer who wishes where i got this and i'm linking to all these things in the description you guys and she's an esthetician she plugs it into a little portable battery recharger that you can get for five bucks at walmart and probably amazon this is actually out of all the different ones the myo lift the pico and all these different things it's just too complicated and i'm not actually going to wind up using it that's why i really like this one but also like because it's plugged in there it's a continuous current it's still under 500 microamps to be microcurrent and the reason they're doing microcurrent and we're going to talk about the difference between galvanic and microcurrent and what's going on with all the currents and the reason you want the microcurrent it's basically a less is more it's the amp schultz law Maybe I'm not saying that right. That if you give it a little stimulus, it encourages the muscles and the cells to flourish, basically. Adding energy to the skin and the muscles by helping the ATP of the cells. And if you go too high of a voltage, basically it's gonna diminish over time ATP. That's what some studies have shown. So that's why some of the devices that you feel, you know, the little zap, it's, going to be over 500 microamps so it's 500 millionth of an amp so it comes in this little bag and it comes with these nice instructions very good diagrams of where you're going along your face and a great description and it comes with this little charging device like similar to your iphone but you can also just plug in this usb it comes with this conductive gel that's pretty good. It's got hyaluronic acid, DMAE, and sodium PCA in it, so I like that. It's not bad at all. It's very light, and you could rehydrate it. So this one, you really don't feel the voltage. You're, you're feeling like a nice, gentle sensation. It's not zapping you, which is microcurrent. I like exercise because it's automatically going through different waves between 350 to 500 microamps. It's like we're jumping and then you're walking and then you're doing squats. You know, it's going through the different frequencies to help release areas and tone. And it's really just two to three times a week. I want to try doing it every day for a few minutes. Now, the difference between the galvanic and the microcurrent, as far as I have been able to see, the galvanic, the word galv galvanic comes from Luigi Galvani in the 18th century. He was a scientist that was like moving frog legs, you know, with little electrodes and stuff. That is where the Frankenstein novel was inspired by. The Fipushi device, it was actually making my muscles twitch. This one doesn't make my muscles twitch. So galvanic current is a low current that flows in one direction, similar to like the batteries, and it's a medium ampage. As far as I can tell, galvanic current also includes microcurrent, but also a medium ampage current. Same thing, stimulate cells, stimulate 
circulation, movement of the fluids and the lymph, but it's different from the high frequency, which is the Tesla coil ones that are used for acne and the like in estheticians' offices. Now I know that the new face uses galvanic, and so maybe that's why it's more medium. I don't know, but I know this one feels different and is seemingly working better on my face. So let's do it. I'm gonna show you. What I've been doing is I'm just plugging into my computer on the side while I'm watching the tube. So you just put a little schmutz on. Definitely aloe juice works just as fine. Aloe, I mean, aloe gel. I mean, you could use a hyaluronic acid serum. And then just, I like to put it on once and then just rehydrate it with a water sprayer. Or you could use whatever sort of mist you have. Of course, I love putting in the actives of my Lucid Essence Brightening Mist as well. Christine Byer, she's really like, you can, you can kind of improvise the path that you're using you know you can it's all beneficial but generally you're sliding up you're avoiding your thyroid whether you have thyroid issues or not it's good to not go around right there there's other precautions that are on her website i'm going to link there for people with cancer or pregnancies they're just like you know everyone's like just avoid everything that's what it <laughs> seems like so you can just glide along the muscles here when it makes contact beeps and then you slide up and then we'll beep twice, but you can really just continually go. But there's some ways that you can really target the muscle and to lift up. So like going along the zygomaticus major and minor, that's these going right along here, the kind of smile and that lift your cheeks. You can kind of hook in and really lift and then kind of pin it at the top and hold for a bit. Now that seems to really help create the lift. And you kind of pin and hold, right? And also to lift these guys up here, the depressor anguli oris, that's a muscle that kind of makes you frown here. So Christine's really into releasing that. So you can kind of cross hatch, like to release the muscles like this, just massaging it. And then you can really pin and lift the muscle. And if you feel like knots in your face as you go along, you can really release it with the device, like along the forehead. So I'm gonna go along our cheeks and then I'll show you the forehead and the eyes. Christine Byer really likes to go along here, along the cheek to create a sculpted look. And then one thing that I really like about the Clear Blend is you can get in here, these kind of hollows really nicely. So to lift these, this muscle, the levator labi superioris right here, this muscle goes up along here. You can lift and kind of hook in that little eye socket. And you want to go along the pathways at least three times, going up and generally out. Or if in doubt, go up and out generally. Now we're along the forehead, Along the forehead, you're going vertically so that the nodules are stacked up and down, and then you're gonna pull apart. Now, what's interesting is if you have a particular muscle that's contracted a lot and creating a particular wrinkle, like I have one right there, I feel where the muscles have created a groove there. So you can break up the fascia, and then you can pull it apart extra by hooking the nodules and really spread it Right, so you really can sculpt with this tool. Pulling apart, pulling apart, pulling apart. I've also seen that you wanna work with your forehead for like a week before you really get into the eyes. If your eyes area is a, has a particular issue for you, work on your forehead because this all these muscles go all the way back along your scalp. You can even go into your scalp going up and down here really to work those muscles. Don't stop at the hairline, go beyond. And then after a week, this whole, all these muscles will be stimulated and activated, and then you can really get in to around the eye. But let's do the eye now anyways. Rehydrating, whoa. So to work with the crow's feet, just sliding horizontally stacked nodules, just sliding along this way. You can also, I like to lift up, to lift up this, this muscle around the eye, orbicularis oculi. I like to kind of hook and lift it up, lift it up. 
but you can go right under the eye with this. I like these teeny little nodules. It's cool, unlike the new face, it comes with these two little nodules, so you don't have to get a whole nother attachment to put on top of your new face, which is dope. And you're not having to change the frequencies like you have to do with the myofascial lift. It's just easy. Up under the eye to lift the eyebrow. Hooking and lifting. I've seen a lot of people on YouTube, <laughs> how they do one eye and then it's totally different from the other eye to show you how well it works, which is so fun. And this feels really good right here. That furrowing gets gentle, but you do feel something happening. And if I go around my lips, I really feel, I can taste that metal current, which makes me feel like, oh, this is working. Around the eye as well, around that auricularis oculi, all around. <laughs> Lifting and spreading the 11s. Oh, that was great. You can go up and around the ears as well and behind. And don't stop there, the side of your neck and the ears, y'all. I don't like those ear lines. Hooking and lift. Back and getting into the scalp. And again, just digging into those scalenes feels divine to me. And I might get it really tight. That's the muscles here along the front of the neck and along the jawline, you guys. You can go firming the jowls and get up on here. You can really dig in. Ah, oh, that's great. Really sculpting along the jowls. Hmm? And then you can get into the lips, you guys. So along the lip line, rehydrate. And lifting up, lifting up, lifting up. Lifting up and you can do the circling around auricular loris oris. <laughs> That's the circular muscle around your lips. And I like to just kind of push back my cupid's bow like this. And that's when, that's the only time I really feel the current is when I'm pushing it back and I can kind of feel it pulse back and forth a little bit. There are muscles along your nose. Just along here, they go up over. The tip of your nose doesn't have any, but spread and lift. But my main thing that I work on is right around the eye, lifting that auricularis oculi. That's that muscle around your eye. The zygomaticus major, right along here. See the difference, guys? I mean, I see a big difference in this ridge right here, which is a major concern of mine. But do you see the difference between my lips? Like this one's just a little more neat than this side. It's like really immediate results. So a little bit every day is a really great idea. I have mine by my bed. Just plug it in, you know, plug it in where I plug my phone in. And a little bit every day. Apparently it also sinks in your skincare ingredients. You do want to have a water-based, you're not really doing a facial oil with this. Often I've heard in reviews that people see results like a few hours later, they really feel the plumping. And this one versus the other uh, device that I've used, I feel like it really plumps the skin. Like I feel like it's, my skin is more spongy and supple. And also it really plumps the muscle. Like it doesn't just firm and like activate it by zinging and contracting the muscles. It feels like it's, more full and that's really dope because that's what youthful muscles are like i dig it i really feel like oh this this area around here is more released and you just do the same thing on the other side so that's it you guys i really do like the claire blend i feel like it's really doing something i'm seeing how it works and that's really satisfying when you can actually see it totally different from facial exercises where i'm actually contracting the muscles it's different it feels like it's it's pushing and working with the fluids and the cells of course working your muscles you're working with the cells but this is like entirely different energizing the atp and i dig it so easy to use you maybe get on christina byer's mailing list apparently she sometimes has discounts and maybe you can find another discount somewhere on the web but i definitely am into this easy and effective device Hope that is entertaining. Bye, guys. Mwah. Hey, really into the device. It's a 
I'm really into the micro. The clip. Kind of long little lift you're all in. The Claire Band blend. Oh, no, no, no. Weird. This is where the Franken. <laughs> this was where Frankenstein was inspired from. This. Give. Hey gang, it's Lita Lum, and we're gonna talk. It's energizing the cells, right? It's energizing ETP, which is this energy of the cells. But to review the mini. <laughs> I'm gonna click. I'm gonna link to the the it, little It's 500th, 500th <laughs> science that I've read about it. 500 micro. What is it? Thank you. 